in the noon time. Jesus, 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 when the sun goes down. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, usually in all my program, I call my attendants my children <laughs> because I love you. I think I'm old enough to call you my children. You know, last one year, especially recent days, many people ask him for prayers. They write many intentions through email, and many people call me on telephone. And I thought, why not I set apart a particular time to pray for all the sick people in the world? So after a few minutes, I'm going to pray with you and pray for you. But I just to say a few things before beginning the program. So the motivation is just to pray for healing. We know everyone in the world stands in need of healing. Now the whole world needs healing because everyone goes through several problems, spiritual problems, mental problems, family problems, social problems, and physical problems. And we know Jesus is the only solution to all our problems. So we are going to pray uh, that Jesus come personally to each one of us uh, to solve our problems. Although I call it a healing program, it's not only a healing program, I'm going to call God, Jesus on you to bring all the blessings possible for you. Now, one thing I want to tell you, I'm not a healer. I'm not a provider. I'm only an ordinary priest. You know my name. I'm James Manyakal Emesafas, belonging to the congregation of the missionaries of St. Francis de Sales. So the Lord set me apart for evangelization. Now I am in Europe. But I go all over the world to preach the word of God. For the last few months, I could not go. I'm in my room, uh, locked up <laughs> because of the lockdown. So I'm conducting program online. But although online, my children, in prayer, with much love in my heart, I'll come near to you with Jesus. Be convinced. Jesus is the only healer. Perhaps there may be many, many healers in the world. Call themselves healers. I know in the Catholic Church now many people call themselves charismatic healers. But you should understand, all these are servants of the Lord. There is only one healer, that is Jesus. So when I lead you to prayer, focus your attention on Jesus the Lord, who is wounded for us. We read in Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. He took away our infirmities and bore all our diseases. We know Jesus took all our problems on his body on the cross. Yes. Infirmities, that means our inner problems, problems of the soul, problems of the mind, maybe feelings of rejection, loneliness, sadness, depression, etc., etc. And also all diseases. We know we are surrounded by various diseases. Everywhere now people are worried about COVID-19. Much more people are dying with the cancer, tumor, and other diseases. Yes, many people are affected by bacteria or viruses. And this is time we have to believe in the Lord Jesus and call on his name. When we call his name, it means we are calling him. Name is the person. That's why the name of Jesus is very important. Uh, whoever came to Jesus 
asked for mercy, healing touch. They were all saying, Jesus, have mercy on me. Later, the apostles went around and healing the people, liberating the people, calling God's blessings on the people in the name of Jesus. So, name of Jesus is very, very important in our life. That's why often we have to call out his name, Jesus, with all our heart, with the full strength we have to call, not just murmuring, Jesus, Jesus, no. Uh, with all hope, with all faith, with all love in the heart, call on his name. And surely he will listen to our prayers, he will come to us. Call on me, I will answer. Yeah, that's what we read in Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. It is called the telephone call of God. <laughs> call on him. Surely he will come with answer. So, my children, I ask you to have that faith and know that it is not Father James who heals. It's not James who brings blessing, but Jesus who took away your sins and who took away your diseases and infirmities, and Jesus who brought you salvation. That word salvation means healing of the heart, mind, body, everything. Uh, uh, what do you call A wholesome healing. Nowadays, people say about holistic healing. Yes, that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. So be sure that you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who brings that healing and call on his name when I do pray for you. Now, so the first condition to have this uh, blessing of healing or any other blessing is to have faith in Christ Jesus. We read that in Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Uh, the word speaks about a mountain shaking faith. Uh, if you say to this mountain without doubt to go away and fall into the sea, I say it will happen. That's what I call it mountain shaking faith. Uh, we have various mountains in our life. No? Now the mountain is <laughs> COVID 19 and also vaccine and many other things concerned and connected with that. Also, uh, in our life, there are many problems. We can call them mountains. So Jesus was not speaking about uh, Himalaya. He was not speaking about any other mountain. He was speaking about the mountain of our problems. The Lord says, believe without doubt. Ah, it's a problem. Uh, sometimes you may doubt. We have a very good example of a lady in the Bible. I'm sure all of you know that. Uh, a lady with a hemorrhage for 12 years. Bleeding for 12 years. Spent all her money on doctors. A chronic disease, but no cure. Then she heard about the name of Jesus. She came rushing. And in her heart, she was praying. If only I would touch at least the cloth. At least have a touch of his cloak. I'll be healed. That was her faith. So she was having that faith in the heart. I will go as I am an unclean woman with the bleeding. According to the law and rules of the Jews, I cannot go and touch that holy man, Jesus. Also, people would not allow me to go and touch. But I want to touch at least a cloth, a part of the cloth. That's enough. That was her faith. Uh, so 100%, she was sure. But touching the clock, she would be healed. And then we know what happened. She went with much difficulty through the crowd. And, you know, the long robe of Jesus, uh, just floating on the floor, he touched. And immediately he was healed. And Jesus asked, who touched me? Because power went out of me. Yeah, it's the power of Jesus that heals. What is that power? The power of the Holy Spirit. At Jordan, we know when he was baptized, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. In his first maiden speech, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me 
to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, to open the eyes of the blind, and to liberate people who are under bondages. So it was that power that was going out of Jesus whenever he preached, whenever he healed or liberated people. And so that power is still here in this atmosphere. Uh, the power of Jesus, that is the power of the Holy Spirit. So, my dear brothers and sisters, or my dear children, believe in that power. So, Jesus felt power going to her and healing. Then asked her, uh, who touched me? You must know, it was a stupid question. <laughs> because all were rushing on Jesus. And Jesus asked, who touched? He did not feel the rush or push of the people, only this mild touch of this lady. Not even he, she touched the body, only the part of the cloth. And it shows, if he touched Jesus with the faith, his spirit, power would flow into us and heal us and liberate. So, it is with the faith you have to reach out and touch. Immediately she came forward and gave a testimony uh, in front of all. Must have been thousands of people. She did not doubt. That's why pray without doubt. After praying, don't doubt whether you received or not. Believe that whatever you asked are given. That is what Mark says in 11.24. Believe that whatever you asked for are given to you then it will be yours. So he gave that faith without any doubt. Have that faith. And then you will experience the power flowing. We know she gave a testimony, beautiful testimony, that she spent all her money on doctors. It was incurable. And at that, the touch healed her. Imagine a chronic disease. 12 years she suffered. With the faith she testified that she was healed. It is then, Jesus said, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. What faith? A claiming faith, I call it. A believing faith she had. And after touching, after praying, she had what he called claiming and proclaiming faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what many people don't have. They know that God will heal. Jesus would heal. I know all those who are attending this program will have that faith. But after this prayer, will you believe that Jesus healed you without doubting in the heart? Then blessed are you. Uh, then claim that healing. You will see that in your life. If you doubt, I'm not sure I'm healed or not. My doctor is told it is incurable. I have taken many tablets, many medicines. Oh, I think it cannot be healed. Anyhow, I'll try. Uh, that is not faith. That is all with a doubt. St. James in chapter 1, 6 says, Pray always with faith. If you pray with a doubt, you cannot expect any blessing from God. Uh, those who are doubting as like a, uh, what you call, wave in the ocean. They are not sure of what they are praying for. So, my children, now have that faith. My Jesus, who died for me, taking all my problems on his body, is today alive. He will give me healing. He will liberate me. He will give me all that I ask you and ask him now. Have that faith deep in your heart. Then after the prayer, believe that what you asked are given, and thank God, praise God, and then give testimony. Tell other people, or you can write to me, your testimony, uh, how you are healed. Uh, and then I'm reading that, I'll praise God. When I praise God, seeing your testimony, surely God is happy. God will shower more blessings. Always giving testimony brings more and more blessings. You know, in my life, I give. In all my retreats and program, testimony of my healing, my life, etc. That brings much power in my life, much healing in my life. So too, my children, learn to give testimony and say what Jesus did in your life. So 
those who want can write to me. Uh, as you know, I always reply to the letters J Manyakel at yahoo.com. Uh, I can ask prayers through this email. Also, if you like, uh, you can write that testimony, but send that testimony with your photo and identity, your name. Okay? Uh, and I wish and I expect. Also, it's an encouragement for me to do this kind of program again and again. Okay? And then, those who want to uh, watch my program, my uh, videos, uh, look into my YouTube, James Manyakel MSFS. James Manyakel MSFS in YouTube. And if you click and subscribe, it's good. Uh, all the information will come to you. All my talk and all my program will be informed to you. So, uh, subscribe, please. That's good. And then, writing emails, you can write jmanyakal at yahoo.com. And my website, you can see in eight languages. Uh, net. Be sure that you click correctly. W W W dot J Manyakel, one word dot net. Manyakel is M A N J A C K A L. Okay, this all I'm telling now, but as after prayer, there may not be a time to say that. And I am planning now to conduct this prayer program on every alternative Fridays. So next program will be on 3rd September. 3rd September. 3 September. That is the first Friday. You know, it is very hard for me. But still, I like to pray for you and pray with you with my suffering. That's why I selected that day. Remember, next program, uh, September 3rd. And the following program will be on 17th September. So in September, only two healing programs on my YouTube. Of course, this is the first time. There may be some drawbacks. Next time, I'll try to get a Zoom uh, and do better. My master promised that he would help me. This was, uh, uh, suddenly the Holy Spirit told me to do it. So in a hurry, I'm doing it. But for God, there is no hurry. No limit of time, he will do everything for good. I know. So believe that, my children. The Lord is going to shower many, many blessings on you right now. And at each time, I'll speak little about healing, not the repetition of what I said today, differently. But always remember, you are praying to Jesus the Lord, not asking any sayings or asking any human being on earth to heal you. Only healer is Jesus. And number two, believe that uh, you are calling his name and pray without any doubt. And claim the healing. Then sometimes we can see the Lord cannot give that blessing. He gives, but people don't experience. Why? Because of the block of sin. One of the main sin is unforgiveness. That's one of the greatest commandments, no? Love one another as I have loved you. When you break that, uh, God's blessings are blocked. So maybe after the prayer, when you ask pardon to somebody and reconcile, you will experience healing. Or you have a block from God between you and God with a like a breaking of the commandments. Repent, make a good confession, then you will see healing taking place in you. So this I tell you early. Remove the block of sin, then only you can experience the blessing coming to you. Okay? So with this uh, few words, I bring you to the healing prayer. Right now, my children, come into the mighty presence of Jesus crucified. You know, a great mystic, Brigitta of Sweden says, on Jesus' body, 
there were 5,480 wounds. 5,480 wounds when he was on the cross. Why he allowed himself to be broken thus? I'm sure it is to heal us. Often in my visions, I see Jesus crucified. I don't find any part of his body that is not wounded. Why he allowed himself to be wounded like that? So that each one of us can place our wounds, our illness, our problem into his wound and get the healing, liberation and blessing. So my children, advise you now, closing your eyes, think of Jesus crucified. Believe in his promise, where two or three gathered together, I am there. I know many of you are now attending from various parts of the world. I see people from Europe, from America, both South America, North America, Australia, and I see people from uh, India, Asian countries, and also Gulf countries, and I see people from all over the world, actually. I see the whole world now before me, Lord, the whole earth and the people of God before me. Yes, Lord, I bring all of them to your mighty presence. We are not one or two. We are in thousands. You are now present here. There are people from Americas. There are people from Australia, people from Germany, Austria, people from Switzerland, and people from France, and people from Spain, Portugal. And I see people from Poland, Croatia, Bosnia, and all European countries, Lord, Italy, and all Francopine islands. Also, I see Many islands where people are raising their heart and praying. Also, I see, Lord, people who are sick and people depressed, sad. Right now, I join my prayer with the prayer of Mary, a good mother, Mama. I join my prayer with the prayer of St. Joseph, who is concerned about us as a father. I join my prayers with all my favorite saints and all the saints and martyrs in heaven. I join my prayers with the prayers of my spiritual children all over the world. I see priests, bishops, nuns, and people of God are my spiritual children are having correspondence with me, connection with me through prayer. I join my prayers with their prayers. So they are praying for me now, I know. Also, Lord, I join my prayers with all the priests, bishops, nuns, people right now praying in the world. I join my prayers to the prayers of all holy priests, bishops and popes in heaven. My Jesus, we together call on your name. That's all. Wholeheartedly call his name. Jesus, Jesus. As you know, I speak in English. You can say or pray in your own language. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Ask the Lord whatever you need. Maybe for your soul, mind, body, family or your near or dear ones, neighbors, people in your family, or people in the neighborhood, people in your prayer group, in your parish, people who are far away. Bring all that to the mighty presence of Jesus. Try to find a hole in the body of Jesus to put your problem. You can see that big heart that's wide open. You can put problem in that heart or in the hands or on the feet or any on the head. Place right now your problem. As our dear John Paul II, the saying John Paul II, when he was shot in Vatican, he brought the bullet put on the head of Mother Mary at Fatima. Like that, right now I advise you to put your problem, your thorns. I hear thorns means problems, bullets, pains, suffering, on the sufferings of Christ, on his wounds. And from your heart, believe. I pray with you now. Lord Jesus, I thank you and praise you for this precious moment. As you know, at three o'clock, they were all praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet. They were asking for God's mercy. And now, Lord, I pray as a missionary of mercy to open the heavens and shower your mercy upon these people who are listening to this voice. It's not my voice. It is your voice. Now you can put your own hands on the part of the body that is ill or weak. If there is somebody near, you can ask them to touch you and pray over you. They can lay hands on your shoulder or head, or maybe on the part of the body that is sick. Believe and pray. If you are alone, use your hand. Maybe you can put it on the head, and you are pain on the shoulder, put it on the shoulder, or the knee, put on the knee or stomach or heart, use your hands. My Jesus, in spirit and truth, I go, go, go near to this, my children. You know, I wish, take me near to each one. Take me near, not to Salome, Darko, Anetta, Miro, Eva, Otto, Erika, Renata, Nicole, Joseph, Thomas, Maria, Marina, take all me to each one of them, Santa, Alan, and Sarasu, and all. I go near, I come to you near, and place not my hands, but the wounded hands of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, my Lord, right now lay your hands on the heads of these people. And may your power, power of your wounds, power of your blood, flow through the entire body, mind and soul, soul, mind and body. I see several people lonely, depressed, sad, melancholic, and rejected, even on the point of committing suicide and finding no answer to their problem, 
finding no meaning for their life. They don't know what to do. They lost job, bankrupt, no money. Lord Jesus, right now, she their desperation. Right now, I pray, go into their lives and give them what they need. Perhaps they need a work, a job. Perhaps they need to build a house or get a flat. Perhaps they need money. Find the ways and means and give, Lord. And I see so young people, so many young people, not married, 30, 35, 40, and some married late and having no children. Lord Jesus, answer their prayers. Give vocation in life, Lord. Give suitable, right life partners. And enable them to form family. And give children to those who are no children now, so that they may be happy in their life, Lord. Remove all the causes of unhappiness, loneliness, sadness. And I see certain people in the family fighting each other. Maybe because of alcoholism or because of anger, uncontrolled anger, fighting, beating. Lord Jesus, right now, come to that, those families. Remove all that anger and fill their hearts with the love. Great love in their hearts, Lord. Liberate them, Lord. Also people with alcoholism, drugs, that also are problems, Lord. Remove all that from the families. Lord Jesus, there are divorces. There are singles, finding lonely, sad. There are children of the unmarried mothers. They have their own problems. I bring all this, Lord. Give a healing in the soul and mind. Make their life happy, spirit-filled, joy-filled, meaning-filled. Thank you, you are doing it now. Jesus, Jesus, through your hands, let power flow through their entire body. I see people with the cancer, tumor. I see people with the cancer in the brain, cancer in the stomach, abdomen, intestine, cancers in the uterus, in the fallopian tube, ovary, cancer in the breasts, prostate, cancer on the throat, and cancer. Simply on part of the muscles, cancer in the bones, cancer in the lungs, liver. Jesus, Jesus, I see few people with the cancer on the skin and cancer in the blood, leukemia. I pray your blood from your hands, your heart, flow and heal them right now. Do miracle, Lord. Do wonder, Lord. I'm asking for a miracle, miraculous healing, Lord. I see a lot of people paralyzed. I see people on wheelchair, people lying on bed. And I see three people in coma. Touch them, Lord. Go near. Heal them. Wake them up. Heal them, Lord. Enable them to go. Get up and go. Jesus gives strength to their nerves, bones. I see so many people with uh, arthritis problems, rheumatic problems. Right now, let your power flow through every atom of their body, every molecule of the body. Right now, let the power of your blood, power of your wound, flow through the bones and flesh, the muscles, and also nerves. And also, Lord, let the power of your blood flow through the blood system. And also, Lord, to the skin, right now, Lord, heal the head from all diseases. There are many people who suffer from headache, migraine headache, people with insomnia, no sleep at night. No, they are restless. Right now, you are laying hands on them. You are healing them. I see people with epilepsy. I see children with autism and nervousness, nervous diseases. Right now, heal them, Lord Jesus. Lord, you are doing miracles for these children. I thank you and praise you, Lord. I see people with Parkinson's. 
They can't even hold a bottle or glass. Strengthen the muscles. Strengthen the nerves. Heal them, Lord. Do miracles, Lord. Oh, thank you. You are doing it, Lord. I see many people with thyroid problem. They are swelling on the throat. And thyroid is inactive, overactive. As a result, a lot of problems, Lord. Jesus healed. I see several women suffering from thyroid problem because of many of us. Heal all, Jesus. Heal them all. Heal them all. Thank you. I know you are doing it, Lord, with your mighty hand. Jesus, Lord, thank you for healing them from headache, epilepsy. I see many people with the problems in the eye. Jesus, lay your hands on their eyes. People with the cataract, glaucoma, people simply losing sight. Open their eyes, Lord. Right now, heal the ears. I see people hearing sound, tinnitus, and people having oozing through the ears, bleeding, water flowing through the ears, and some people becoming deaf. Right now, my Jesus, open their ears and heal them. Thank you, you are doing it. Hallelujah. Mighty Lord. I see, Lord, a lot of people with pain on the hands, shoulder, and much on the spine, back. Some cannot even stand up because of back pain. Cannot do work because of spine, paining. Touch the spine, the backbone, and heal. I see seven people who had accidents, still suffering on the bones and the body. They're broken. Right now you are healing them. You are telling them, get up, walk, and work. Thank you for healing their nerves and their bones and the ligaments. Thank you, Lord. You are doing miracle for them now. I see the Lord now giving grace for seven people to hear well. And I see some 17 people healed in the eyes. And I see more than 80 people healed in the head from headache, epilepsy, insomnia, etc. Thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Claim your healing. I see the bright light of Jesus on people with the cancer and with a tumor. Right now, the Lord is healing them. Believe and claim the healing. You will see the miracle of the Lord. Jesus, you are healing people with a shivering on the body. Yes, now it is stopped. You are healing the nervous diseases. Many are with a neuropathic pain because they had a stroke or they had a Guillain-Barre syndrome like me. They're suffering much. Jesus, by your suffering, by your pain, heal them. I don't want to be healed now. I'm asking you to heal these people. I offer my pain, my suffering for these, my children. Lord, heal them. Heal them. You are healing several people now. Thank you, Lord. There are people with heart problem, arrhythmia. Yeah, they're having often palpitation. Heal the arrhythmia. What's your people to whom doctors said an open heart surgery is required? You do the surgery. Heal the heart, Lord. Jesus, heal the valves of the heart. There are people with cholesterol, high cholesterol. Heal. Heal their blood, Lord. People with high blood pressure and sugar. Let your power flow through the blood and heal them completely. Thank you. You are doing it, Lord. I see people with a liver problem. Touch the liver. There are five people here to whom doctors suggested transplantation of the liver. My Jesus, now I pray that you transplant. Cut away their old heart. Cut away their liver. Cut away their inner organs that are sick and give a new one. You are the creator. Right now, right now, new heart, a new liver, a new lungs, a new stomach, new kidney. I see people with a kidney problem. Heal them. You are healing them. With the bladder problem. You are healing the bladders. Oh my God. You are doing many, many healings now. You are healing the people who are putting the hand on the stomach now. By healing the intestine, stomach, from cancer, and also from 
various kinds of pain, swelling, and ulcers, wounds. Thank you for your blood flowing to the stomach in the stands. Thank you healing the kidneys, weak kidneys. There are five people who are having dialysis. The Lord is touching and healing them now. Also, I see people with the urinal infections and problems. Jesus, the Lord, is healing them. Believe and claim the healing. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are people with a pancreatic problem. People with the cancer in the pancreas, the Lord is healing. Also, stones in the kidney, in the pancreas, in the liver. The Lord is taking away the stone and healing. Hallelujah. You are wonderful, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are healing right now. Clara, Natalia, Blazenga, Soranga, Fra Francis, Lydia. And you are healing Paul, Peter, Luke, John Luke, John Luke and Senia. And you are healing so many right now. You are healing Joseph, Joseph, and you are healing Matthew, John. I see so many people with that name getting healing. Thank you for the great healing you are giving. You are healing Doris, Erika, and I see Bridget getting healing. Diana, you are healed. Eva, Eva, Eve, you are healed. Miro, you are healed. Miroslav, the Lord is healing. Grace flowing right now to Anetta, Anita, Alexandra, also Alex, the Lord is healing. Olga. Oliver, grace flowing and healing you. Believe and claim and thank God. Tony, you are healed. Antony, you are healed. Antonia, you are healed. Philip, you are fully healed. Vinga, you are healed. Vinci, you are healed. Grace flowing. Praise, thank God. Praise God, thank God. I see Sebastian getting great healing. And also I see someone by a few people, four or five by name George, getting healing. Thank God and praise God. Don't doubt. Believe. The Lord is healing all muscular pains. Even from dystrophy, muscular dystrophy, the Lord is healing. Especially children. And I see two or three children who are not able to speak well. And the Lord is cutting away the strings from their, uh, 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 from their tongue. They are able to speak now. Oh, thank you, Lord, for being the children, Lord. By laying the hands on the children and healing. Oh Lord Jesus, you are healing Jocelyn. You are healing right now. So many people with your grace. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus. Heal the skin. There are many people suffering from skin diseases. Oh, let your power flow. I now take each one of these, my children, and dip in your blood. In your grace, in the pool of your blood. In the ocean of your love. Heal them. Heal them. Jesus. 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 In your precious name, I command all illness to depart from the bodies of these people. In your name, I command all infirmities depart from the soul and mind of these people. And fill them with love, peace, joy, grace, power. I see so many people suffering after vaccination. Also after getting COVID. And some are having problems in the lungs. Pneumonia. Now, now heal them, Lord. You are healing them. Jesus, thank you for healing them now. Oh, my God. You are great. You are marvelous. But a wonderful God who are loving us, Lord. I see so many people with the COVID suffering in the world. Especially in some African countries, Asian countries, like my country, India, and Brazil. For so many people suffering. Dying on bed, on ventilator. Oh, my Jesus, right now, lay your hands on them and heal them. Thank you, you are doing it, Lord Jesus. Thank you for healing them, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Somebody is healed from a kind of sickness called mononucleosis. The Lord is giving a healing for that. And from uh, hepatitis, some three people are healed. And also from constant cold and cough, I see so many, maybe 26 or 30 people are healed. Thank God and praise God. I see the Lord coming to the financial problems of the people and giving them what they need. I see the Lord distributing bread. 
I see the Lord now stretching out hand, giving them what they need. Oh my God, thank you for blessing them. I see the Lord blessing the families now with the love, unity, peace. Oh my God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are coming to many families. Thank you, Lord, for healing right now, Jesslyn, and also uh, healing Alsviata, Shaneta. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. I see so many people, the name Anna, Ania, etc., getting healing. And I see my Jesus, some 350 people with the name Maria, Mary, getting physical healing and blessing. Oh, thank you, Lord. At least some uh, 28 people, the name Joseph, Jose, Jose, getting healing, blessing. I see a great blessing coming to Gabriel, Gabi, Gabriela. And I see Michael getting healing, Mihaela. And I see Rachel, Rahel getting healing. Oh, thank you, Lord, for a great blessing, sir. You are bestowing upon these people. I see people by name, Sylvie, or people with the name uh, Olga, or Ante, Anita, etc., getting healing. Oh, my God, thank you, Lord. Nivenga, getting healing. Marina, Odile. I see so many names. I'm sorry, I cannot say all the names, like Marie Chantal, Claude. Raphael, O oh Blanca, O oh Grace flowing, Susanna, Grace flowing to you, and also Grace flowing to people who have much pain on the body, healing them. Louisa, you are healed. Justin, you are healed. Tony, you are healed. Don't doubt. Just praise God. Thank God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh Jesus, thank you, Lord. You are healing right now. Lay especially your hands on these children who are here, Lord. Touch them, heal them. Right now, heal all the children with the sickness in the world. And they're afraid now about the COVID, the third wave, Delta. They are giving to them also uh, injections, vaccinations. Protect the children, your children. They are your innocent children, Lord. Ask you pardon for the many abortions we committed. Ask you pardon for the immorality we committed. All the sins we ask you pardon. I take the sins of these people and ask you pardon. Forgive, Lord. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive me, Lord. I take personally their sin and ask you pardon. Oh, my Jesus, you are healing them. You are removing the block. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is telling some 19 husbands to forgive the wives and love the wives. Never think of divorce or separation. The same message is given to those wives too. Love. Love. But God has united, you should not separate. The Lord is commanding you. To more than 80 people, the Lord is telling, go and reconcile. Go and ask pardon, give pardon. Because you have some ill feeling in the heart. The Lord is telling now, do that. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, thank you for healing so many people and blessing them with love, peace, joy, spiritual and material blessings. Oh, my Jesus, if there is anyone still to be healed from any disease, right now I bring them to you, Lord. Maybe a pain, a pain on the hip, a pain on the knee, a pain on the leg, maybe a problem on the vein. Right now, heal the vein, Lord. Maybe swelling on the leg or swelling in the stomach or swelling on the knee. Heal all the swelling. In the name of Jesus, I command all the swelling to depart. Right now, you are healing. All the muscles. There are people suffering from lungitis, tonsillitis, and sinusitis. People from goiter, sore throat. Heal them all now, Jesus. You are doing it, Lord. Cough and cold. Let your grace, power flow and heal them completely, Lord. And there are, I see some 27 people with a multiple sclerosis, MS. You are healing them. I dip them especially in your blood. You are healing them with grace and power. Oh, my Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You are helping them. You are strengthening them. Isabel, you are healed. Rosa, you are healed. Rosbella, you are healed. Rosvita, you are healed. Benedict, Benedict, you are healed. And I see the Lord healing and go on. Jean Marie, Marie Therese, Eric, and Marie Vaughan. So many people. I see the names of the Lord healing. 
Praise God. Thank God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lamba la 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 lamba la 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 la. Shamba la 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 la. Lamba la 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 lamba la 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 la. Shaka bahara di lamba la 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 lamba la la la. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. I see people healed from lupus. Much pain in the body. At least some seven people are healed from lupus. And I see people healed from problems of weakness, constant weakness. And people with low immune getting strong now. The Lord is healing their immune system. And the people healed from bronchitis and borreliosis. I see some 11 people healed from borreliosis. And thank God, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. From skin diseases. Oh, the Lord is healing 92 people. Claim your healing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Closing your eyes. Keep your hands on the chest. Believe, feel, and experience the blessing of Jesus. Maybe a healing in the mind or body. Maybe a physical blessing. A material blessing. Belief. And say in your heart, thank you, Jesus. But as you didn't hear, tell me, I, you didn't hear from my lips your name. But the Lord is speaking to you now. He's telling Anne-Marie, you are healed. Daniela, you are healed. Ivisa, you are healed. Sophia, you are healed. Robert, you are healed. Dario, you are healed. Like that, that you can hear in your heart the Lord speak. Listen, Viola, Violetta, you are healed. Pain, Karine, etc. The Lord is calling you in the heart. Listen. But as you have feeling that you are healed, thank God. Praise God. But the Lord is speaking something in your heart to go and reconcile. Maybe to make a good confession. Do it. Yes, Christina. You are healed from your headache, your problems in the stomach, Krishna. Believe. Don't doubt. Simon, you are healed. Shimoni, you are healed. Anshi, you are healed. Walsa, you are healed. Thomas, Thomas, you are healed. Tangama, you are healed. And bless Lucy. Grace flowing to you. I see so many blessings flowing right now. Rajam, Rajam, you are blessing, calling, calling you. Thank God. So many names. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. You are great. You are marvelous, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. How that peace in the heart. I see the Lord is showering the blessing of peace, blessing to pray. Believe that you are healed and you are blessed. And give an approach to Jesus who is alive. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Are you healed? Lift your hands and give an approach to Jesus the Lord. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from your heart. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 from my heart. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 from my heart. Now I give a blessing. Lord Jesus, I bring all these people to your second heart, to the heart of Mary, our mama. Right now, bless them. Bless their families. Bless their near and dear ones. Jesus, I join my prayer with all the priests in heaven and on earth. In a very special way, 
with my confession, my congregation, the priests of my congregation, and the priests who are close to my heart, and the bishops who are very close to my heart, my spiritual children. I join with them to bless these people. My dear people, I bless you. I bless your families, your near and dear ones. I bless your place, your country, and I bless everyone in this world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Are you happy? I'm sure you're happy. I can see you smiling in spirit. I see you in spirit, yes. I love you. Yes, I continue praying for you. Please free to write your opinion. Maybe comment. Negative comment show so you can write. It'll be good. So we'll meet again, those of you who want, on the 3rd of September. If possible, then we'll have a prayer with the Holy Eucharist. Uh, I thought there may be people from other denominations also attending, even Hindus, Muslims attending this prayer. That's why the first time I thought of not having anything concerned with the Catholic Church alone. But we will have next time. Uh, but we know that Jesus is alive with us. I know your faith. I can see that. I can see your smiling face. Yes, Patrick, you are wonderful. You are healed. You can thank God. Yes, Enos, you are healed. Don't doubt, Branga, Didia. I see your joy in your face and your heart. So praise God and thank God. Clara, you are fully healed and liberated. Now dance and joy and have a good weekend. Uh, have celebrations on Saturday, Sunday. And if you think of me, pray for me too, that I may carry my cross and follow Jesus. I promise my prayers. Again, I promise my prayers. And I promise that uh, if you write to me for any intention, I will pray for intention. According to my time, I may reply, you know. Uh, when other languages come, I to put on the automatic translator, it will take time. If it is English, directly easy to reply. But even if you don't get a reply, be sure I read them and pray for you and intentions. Sure. Remember again, uh, open my YouTube uh, to see my uh, talks and retreats also. Uh, James Manyakel MSFS. That is a YouTube. Uh, and subscribe so that all my talk program will be informed to you. Okay? God bless you. Fill you. Rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. 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 And again I say rejoice. 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 And again, I say, Rachel.